and this is a real triumph for me. G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficing Me and it's been a long time no see. See? Get it? Or ocean. Today it's a late start. I can tell you right from the bat that I'm not very confident that we're going to do well but we're traveling light. We've only got a few small rods and we're going to hunt the little fish, things like whiting, maybe small snapper if we get lucky. I don't know, the odd Trevor here in the passage somewhere. Hopefully we'll get lucky. There's a few little tricks we've got up our sleeve and a few experiments we're going to run like cured yabbies. James cured some yabbies the other day, put them in salt. Will the fish bite on them? We don't know. Fingers crossed that something good happens. Anyway, let's get out there. Yeah, here's the entrance here. So the ripples is around here. I think we could go anywhere here. Yeah, we don't want to go in the channel, I don't think, or in the canals. I don't even know if that's We're allowed to. But just on the outside here, it seems pretty quiet. There's another guy fishing over here. And there's another guy over there. So... They're on the bank here. Right. Are they, didn't there used to be... There's another guy over there. Yeah. Didn't there used to be a spot? There's the F. There, is that an FAD or, or is that an anchor? No, it's just a, well, it's just a, a marker. A marker. Yeah. Good yeah, and there's the two markers coming out. Yeah. So. Just throw it out here. Yeah, maybe we could even just chuck out here and and have a look. We're in between multiple boats. So. Yeah, and yeah. do we just float? Do we yeah. just drift? Yeah, I think so. I think we're just going to have a drift and see how we go. Chuck out a plastic. Chuck out some cured prawns. Yabbies. James is wrong. Ooh, you got a little whitey. Beauty. And what was that caught on? Yeah, a yabby that I, I that, salted. That was the salted yabby? Yeah. Hokey crikey, it worked. Can't believe it. It's a ripper. For us anyway, isn't it? Oh yeah. I mean, that's, 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 that's what we're after. There's the target. Target species, baby. Target species, baby. There we go. There we go. How big do they have to be? 25? No, I think it's 23. But um, so the winter whiting, I don't think there's any size at all. Well, that's definitely big enough. It's starting to kick. Now we're on the bike. We come out here late. It's nearly 11 o'clock. Sometimes you can just get lucky and go out during the middle of the day and get something. Just have a go. Might as well go through the process now. You know, now that we've actually caught something with it. <laughs> so what happened, James? You, you you went out, first of all, went for the bait. You pumped yabbies. Yep. And you didn't really catch anything the other day, but you had a leftover of yabbies. So you thought, what? Yeah, well, I thought, hey, why, why throw them all back? A bird probably just eat them. They've been in the bucket all day. Why don't I go home and just chuck them in salt and try and preserve them for later? Yeah, so this is about what, a week ago or two weeks ago? Uh, I'd say probably a week and a half ago. Week and a half ago. And uh, they're actually pretty good. They sit on the hook all right. They actually, I think they sit on the hook a little better than the fresh ones, do you reckon? Um, or are they well, not? No, actually, to, to, be, to be honest, they probably sit not as a little, good. Not as good. Not as good, okay. Because yeah. they deteriorate a little bit. Yeah, they do Or they get dehydrated. Yeah. Because, you know, the salting dehydrates them. There's no smell to them either, which is interesting, or very little smell. But it's actually working on the fish. And we didn't, yeah. we weren't quite sure how well it would work. But, gee, I tell you what, there's many times we go out, pump yabbies and use live yabbies, catch nothing. And uh, that's why we're so excited. 
Oh, well, that's exciting. It's working. And uh, we've got him in there. Here we go. And you've got a trigger fish. Yep. Now I've got a trigger fish. I'm just triggered. I'm so triggered. <laughs> Here we go. Trigger fish. Oh. oh my goodness. Oh, is it off? I think. Oh, yeah. Unless it's swimming towards me. Not very big. Oh, here we go. It is oh a my, flatty. Are you, is it recording? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's a flatty. In the boat. Oh my goodness. Yes. Flatty. So we did catch something on a plastic. I'll tell you what, I haven't caught many things on plastics. And this is a real triumph for me. It's a good size flatty. Looks like a dusky, I guess. Dusky flatty. Um, we'll measure him up. Oh, he's got a good fight on him. So there you go. That's what was maybe what was taking the tails off those other ones. And if I can get this out, hopefully I can save this lure. Yes, there you go. Taking the tails off and I finally caught him. Right, let's measure him up. What a ripper. To a lack of bites, we've moved from over that side of the passage right next to this sign here this morning beacon we've been going well we've been catching small fish under a lot of undersized stuff it's been a really good afternoon fishing and really relaxing i'm almost i'm almost feeling sleepy it's been that relaxing it's a good change up from being right out there and battling the big seas it's um Nice and refreshing, I quite like it. We've had the most success, I think, when you've got a yabby and a soft bait plastic worm on the line fishing for this little stuff. And we haven't really stopped. For the last three, four hours, we've been constantly putting a line down. And here we go. What you got, James? A oh, a little flatty. Well, there you go. We did catch a little flatty here. It's about too little, but it's still target species. There we go. There we go. Very good. There he goes. Very nice. Oh, there you go. There you go. Another whiting, finally. Probably not size, but whiting is the target. No. Going for the little plastic worm. Yeah. There you go. He's gobbled that down underneath his chin. There you go. Not going to be 23, but it's going to be close. Twenty. Twenty. Oh, well. you are very good. Chuck them back. Yeah. Guys. Yeah, and he's upside down. Come on, mate. You got to Yeah, yeah, gone. There you go. We're gonna go back to the ripples, and that's where we'll finish up, I think finish up where we started at the nipples I mean the ripples and uh, we'll finish off with our bait we've only got that much of the salted yabbies left we've been fishing all day with them which is great uh, catching a lot but not a lot of keepers one whiting that was 24 and a and a flatty that was 
you know, decent. Just oversized, but uh, decent. So at the end of the day, I could, I'd call this a success because everything seems to be biting on those yabbies. It was high tide when we got here, so it would have been really difficult to be able to pump any yabbies. So it's nice to be able to have that bait on hand for when you can't pump yabbies and have them fresh. I agree that fresh yabbies is better than salted ones, but salted ones is better than none. So anyway, we'll get back to the ripples and we'll have one last hurrah. See that plastic? Yeah. Oh, gone, gone. <laughs> Another small one. Where you go? Oh well. Send them back. It is a bigger trigger fish. Well, we're calling it a day. James is washing the boat off because there's a lot of salt there. <laughs> well, I think, I think that'll do us. We've got two keepers, pretty much caught them earlier on. Um, and then we caught, I reckon, how many, James? A dozen other fish that were too small? Oh, more than a dozen. More than a dozen, 20? Yeah, about 20 yeah, fish. About 20. Yeah. So you can't complain with that. You kind of can complain. Uh, because it would have been nice for those target species to be legal but you know we've got enough for a little bit of a feed and uh, we've got some experience now and it's just a really nice day fishing yeah lovely conditions yeah beautiful conditions just enough breeze yeah a little bit of breeze wasn't too hot yeah you're gonna wrap it up now and call that a successful day well, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big fishy thumbs up, share it around, subscribe if you haven't already. Catch you next time. Cheers.